States are counting on toll lanes to reduce highway congestion, but our Defenders team has discovered another solution, and it's free. Yeah, but there's a catch. Nathan Morbido found it forces every one of us to do something that's uncomfortable and even feels downright rude. The next time you're in heavy traffic trying to merge or thinking about letting someone in, think back to this zipper. The zipper only works if each side takes turns. The only way this will work on the road, though, is if we all put aside our southern hospitality. I'd be in panic mode right now. Merging. This car is just creeping. It's one of the most stressful parts of driving. Slow. Can I get over? Like me. Gotta get in while there's still plenty of time. So many of us take the safe bet. I wait until I, there is a spot. Get in. There's no need to wait till the last minute. But what if I told you most of us are doing it wrong? And not just that, I would be so irritated at that person. The person who carefully waits until the last minute to merge is doing it right. Someone just beeped their horn at them. They put that pavement there for a reason. They want you to drive one. This NC State researcher said when there's not congestion, we can go about our normal routines. But when there is heavy traffic, we all should zipper merge. I think what we want to do is push people out of their comfort zone a little bit. Popular in the Midwest and Northeast, Zipper merging is when drivers use the entirety of a lane before merging, and people in the other lane take turns letting those cars in. The North Carolina Department of Transportation recently introduced its version in busy work zones in other parts of the state, where two lanes merge into one. In one stretch of I-77, the state found traffic backups dropped from eight miles to two. Have you ever heard of zipper merging? No, no. Is that something I should look into? Research says yes, showing it makes for a speedier, safer drive. Take a work zone Chris Vaughn study. He said the average speed increased from 29 miles per hour to 40 when people zipper merged. If this became kind of the new norm in North Carolina, it would make a huge difference. Watch from the side of the road and you can see what he's talking about. From this view, you never realize, look how much room they still have. To be clear, he's not suggesting reckless driving. Instead, he's recommending something more graceful. It's a dance, and if everybody would just do their part and remember their steps, it's a, it can be seamless. That's the only snack. We all have to do it to make it work. Nathan Morabito, NBC Charlotte. And Sarah has admitted to being one of those people that slows us all down, right? Well, I'm a nervous driver to begin with, and I feel that sometimes when I try to get over at the very last minute, people will try to speed up. It's, it's like they don't want you to get over or something. And I don't want to make anybody mad. It just driving gives me anxiety. No, I just, I just go right in front of you. <laughs> just keep going.